Talk TV's James Whale stormed off his show amid Eurovision mayhem leaving Lizzie Cundy to take over. The broadcaster, 71, was hosting his usual Saturday evening show when Talk turned to the famous song contest, which was taking place at the same time as their show. Four. James Whale was not happy with the talk of Eurovision on Saturday evening credit, talked. 4. James stormed off in a similar style to fellow talked host Piers Morgan credit, talked. James and Lizzie. 54, were chatting to their guests, who were excited that it looked like Britain was about to win Eurovision. Although Lizzie was happy to talk about it, James was clearly unhappy, and didn't want to take part. Before storming off James revealed he was bored stupid with talk of Eurovision, claiming the show was too political. However, his guests were keen to carry on the conversation, with their host feigning boredom, by pretending to yawn. In the end, James had enough, and left Lizzie and their guests to their Eurovision chat. He stormed off set in a similar style to fellow talked of star Piers Morgan's GMB exit. He even made reference to Piers GM Benemesis Alex Beresford, and said, and if one of you was a flipping weatherman, you'd be in trouble. After he marched out of the studio, leaving Lizzie in charge, he said backstage, no I'm sorry, I've had enough, it's just mayhem in there. He went on, and I do apologize to all the people watching tonight. Meanwhile, Britain's Eurovision chap Sam Ryder received a hero's welcome as he arrived back in the UK today waving a Union Jack. The 31-year-old ended decades of humiliation for us by coming runner-up to Ukraine, although at one point it looked like head go all the way. Despite narrowly missing out on the victory, Sam was mobbed as he touched down at Heathrow where he happily chatted to fans and posed for snaps. Eurovision fans previously heaped praise on TikTok star Sam for achieving the impossible by finishing as a runner-up to Ukraine. Viewers hoped head go all the way after an exciting night saw the UK fly up the table. But a huge public vote for Ukraine ended Sam and the rest of his country's dreams of taking home the crown. Pride of Britain Sam's song Space Man proved a huge hit with viewers around Europe. He finished in second place after going up against Ukraine and Sweden in the final three. Prime Minister Boris Johnson sent his congratulations to the singer-songwriter. He said, congratulations to Ukraine for winning the At Eurovision Song Contest 2022. It is a clear reflection of not just your talent, but of the unwavering support for your fight for freedom. Incredibly proud of At Sam Ryder music and how he brilliantly represented the UK tonight. The UK was awarded top points from countries including Ukraine, France, Germany, Belgium, Austria, and Czech Republic. 4. Backstage James was fuming credit, talked. 4. Sam Ryder came second on Eurovision on Saturday credit, Getty. 